In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can organize the files that you've uploaded to Moodle by creating folders within that list of files. So, once logged into Moodle and in the class that you are teaching, simply scroll down and find the administration block here on the left hand side of the screen. Under administration, click files and that's going to bring up a list of the files you've uploaded to Moodle. Now your list might be uh, smaller than this if you're just starting out or it might be a very long list of documents and images and videos that you need to organize so you can find things a little easier. So you'll notice I have a couple documents and some images here and then above those I have some folders. I've labeled them audio, course site images, module material, orientation material, PowerPoints, and so on. These make it easy for me to categorize my files and put them in these folders so it's easier to find exactly what I'm looking for. Now to create one of these folders, simply click make a folder and type in the name of the folder you want to create. So let's say I want to create a folder where I keep all of my exam materials. So I'll type in exams here, click create, and now I have a folder labeled exams. Once you have the folders that um, you wish to organize your files into, putting those files in the folders takes uh, another step or two, so I'll show you how to do that. Here I have four image files and I want to put those in this course site images folder. Now to do that I will just put a check mark in each box next to those images and then under my list of files I have a drop down menu. I'll click that and then I'll click move to another folder. And so now up at the top here it says I have four files selected for moving and it prompts me to go into the destination folder and press the move files to here button. So those images I wanted to put in course site images so I'll go ahead and click the folder. I don't have anything in here yet but notice I have this move files to here button. I'll click that and those image files are now within the course site images. Noted by the uh, title up here I can tell what folder I'm in and if I want to go back to my main folder, I can simply click Parent Folder. Now I can do that again for these documents here, these Word documents. They are uh, assessment rubrics, so I'll go ahead and put those in ex the exam folder. So I'll put check marks next to both of those documents, click the drop down menu, move to another folder. It now says I have two files selected for moving. I'll click the folder I want to put them in and click move files to here. And those rubrics are now within the exams folder. Click the parent folder to go back to my list of files and now I have a nice clean list of files organized by folders with appropriate titles.